Today's nail art was inspired by uh, old vintage music sheets, as you can hopefully tell. Let's get started. The color I started out with as a base is Soft Toffee by Max Factor. And then I also use heap sneeps of acrylic paint as well as a detail brush and a striper brush. And then lastly I used a top coat. I didn't use a whole lot of material for this nail art really, so yeah. Nevertheless, I'll list everything down below in the description box as always. But yeah, the first thing I did after the base is actually covering the entire base with first um, just some random swirls of white, uh, I was gonna say face paint, acrylic paint. And also uh, some ochre yellow paint. And just sort of mixing that together and then pulling it all downwards to get sort of a vintage paper sort of texture. I was actually surprised that this worked because I was really just playing around with it. And then I started on the actual music sheet. And the stripes I did with a striper brush simply because I feel like I have more control over it um, as opposed to when I do it with a detail brush. But I did do the music notes with a detail brush because I can't really paint dots with a striper brush. Some people can, but I'm not one of them. And yeah, I know absolutely nothing about music, so I have no idea what music notes these are. I just pretty much randomly painted some that looked cute, in my opinion. And then to fill up the empty spaces, I also did some wood carving sort of paintings. It's supposed to look like wood carvings at least. Because to me, wood carvings seem very vintage and very pretty. So yeah, I just used uh, two different shades of brown and also some yellow again. Just to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And the forms I made is just completely random. On some nails I did flowers, on some nails I did dots and swirls, whatever. And the two nails that aren't going to get any music sheets, I just left the background as it is. Just a nail polish and then added the... Wood carving things to them, uh, just to make all the nails suit together well. And yeah, most nails I try to do one more complicated design and one more easy. Or multiple easy ones, just whatever is needed to fit a nail. Uh, this is the pinky finger, so that's obviously quite small, but I did more on the thumbnail. And then once the acrylic paint is completely dry, I apply top coats just to seal everything in. I used the glossy one this time because... It just seemed to suit with it. And then here is the final result. I actually like this way better than I anticipated it to. I thought it looked more simple, but I actually really like it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time. Bye!